D, Michael Douglas Skews. Uh, so, okay. It started. Started filming the documentary. This, the documentary. It's not gonna be a movie. It's not gonna be a biopic. I keep saying biopic. But, a biopic. It's going to be a documentary. And so, if you've ever watched, like, the Biography Channel or whatever, the way documentaries are, remember Rockumentaries on VH1 when they almost played music? There you go. So, that's the way it's going to be done, is a documentary. And we're shooting for an hour, and, or less, we might go less and then we're gonna shoot videos for several songs on the album. So I've got to get everything done by April. So uh, it'll be out, you know, before summer, or summer, maybe summer will be a good time to release it. But, uh, so there you go. But we started, it's, it's gone past the talking stage. <laughs> Started uh, filming, started shooting uh, this week, and uh, they're working on the, uh, you know, they're, they're transcribing everything, and then we're going to see how to, because I'm not going to, you know, there's going to be a narrator even, it won't be me. <laughs> it's not going to be a big budget thing, but it'll be, it'll be done like a, a good documentary, so... And this guy's done some serious documentary work, so it should be good. And he's using his uh, son is working with him, and so we're doing this before his son takes off to college, so he can uh, work on it with him. So that's why April is the the hard out for this, because the son is going to go to school. Which all of you, if you're young, should go to school. At least for a little while. Like my son, he went, you know, later in life, like me, but not as late as me. Almost. You know, I, I went back to college when I was 30, 31, 30, 30, 31, 32, I, because I thought I had the job, or I did have the job to take me to retirement, you know, and then life happens. As soon as you're sure that you've got it all figured out and everything is running like clockwork and this is like, this is exactly what I had planned. This is perfect. I mean, there's little tweaks here and there, but besides, you know, marrying a psycho 
bag. You know, I've got it worked out to where she's in one state and I'm in another and I got a nice place down here and I got a nice place up there and when I get rid of her it'll be a nice place both and I'll get someone else and da 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 and then boom. So, yeah, I've actually been dealing with lawyers too because I'm still trying to, to sue for the hip because they put a defective hip in me. <laughs> so I'm hip, but I'm defective hip. So... That's a joke going down the toilet. So there you go. So it's going to be a documentary and it started. We're, we're three days in. So there you go. That's not much I can tell you. I mean... I don't know how much Randy will be in there. It might just be, and I took lessons from Randy Rhodes, and a picture of him pops up. That's probably what's going to be it in there. I'm not sure. I don't know. He says he's already got it all in his head how he wants it. And he, he's uh, from Mexico. He speaks very little English, but he loves metal. And he loves Kiss and, you know, the same bands I do. He, he, Pantera and everything. You know, he's about my age, a little younger. And, you know, he's got a family and all this stuff. But he really, you know, wants to do this. So I'm like, do it. Just, I mean, he is one in 50 flipping people that have said that, oh, I, dude, I, I'm going to write it, do this, or I know somebody who's going to do, you know, I could go from people that you know, you've heard of actual actors. Dude, I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna get this done. There needs to be a movie put out about you know your music career. It's so crazy. Really? And then I've even had one guy write an entire script or, or a screenplay, and then I was going to get someone else in on it, and then have his brother, who's an actor, play in it, playing me, and then we were gonna have to present it to a studio, and then that, and then it all just you know, spins out of control and goes to hell. Once money gets involved, big money, <laughs> so that's why I told this guy, look it, money, eh, I'm spending a lot just to make the album. I mean, believe me, everybody's got their home studio and all that crap, but I'm not a genius. I can't sit there and do everything. I need someone to work with, and I, singer, obviously, but and that's it, you know, I gotta get the lyrics and everything up to the singer, the guy that wants to sing, and hopefully you can do it, Lion Miller. I'm gonna send you the lyrics to Eternal Darkness tonight, and then you fit them into the song and record it, and we'll get the tracks up and put in, because it's gotta be done, because we're doing at least three videos for the album and it'll be that eternal dark creeping sensation eternal darkness deceiver or it might be creeping sensation eternal darkness and then one of the last songs that are more pop like in nature uh i play you one but i don't remember how it goes let me see how it goes <laughs>
That's hold on. Hold on? Yeah, that's hold on. So, the guitar is heavy, but it'll, it's a poppy type song. Picture, like, well, White Sister, but no one knows who White Sister is. Um, Journey, uh, that one song is kind of heavy, off Escape. Eh, you know, something like that. But it'll be heavy guitar and the vocals will be lighter with, you know, harmony, chorus, blah, blah, blah. So that's that. I got to get, so I got to finish all that. So as soon as I can, I got to make my way back up and uh, stay in Provo for a few uh, weeks or whatever. A week, I'd like to get it all done and then let uh, George, my partner, not life partner, <laughs> uh, making this album. And, you know, I've known the guy for ever. So, uh, yeah, so it's all coming together, but it's going to have to really be quick. No more screwing around. And, you know, I got my car, got my new car, so, you know, no problems there. I just throw junk in there and go. It's all about timing, really. I just got to wait. Because I'm not going up there now because there's too much, the weather's screwed up. You know, in California, winter, it's 76 to friggin' degrees outside and sunny. Every storm is going over us. It sucks, man. Because I like rain. That's really it. I, I don't really have time. Now I'm out of time, so that's it. I just want to tell you the documentary has started. I have that's why I haven't been making video. Plus that friggin' smoke video with the ace guitar that everybody questions. I'm telling you, it's a in Gibson Les Paul that I had to have specially made because. That whole blue, tell me, find me somebody online besides Ace Freely playing one of those real Gibson Bluebursts. They didn't sell them. They were going to. You could, they they sold some Epiphones, but the Epiphones look like crap. They look like the ripoff Chinese version. So what I had to do. I thought I explained this before already. With that guitar is get a blue burst. I knew the guy working there named Richard something. I can't remember, but I know I known him earlier, and he got it. Told me, dude, I'm working for Gibbs now. I'm like, no way, because I want a blue burst. He's like, that ain't happening. We're only doing a certain amount, and it's for Ace and his friends and family, and that's it. I'm like, 
He goes, but we're making the blue burst with three pickups, just no ace. I'm like, can't you do it? Can't you get it done? He goes, I, I could get the neck done. I could, you know, he could get the drill out the inlay and have that done, come in on his time and do it. And then the face was the only part, hard part, because the one that Ace has is a uh, mother of pearl. It's like the inlay. The face is, you know, the part that's in the light, you know, because it's like half dark, half... So the part that's in the light that in, around his eye and stuff, it's all mon mother of pearl inlay and all that. It's really nice. And then, then the other one, like on the Epiphone, is just decal and then they friggin' clear coat it. So I had to compromise and you see what it is. That is a Gibson. I, you know, I'm sorry if you don't think, if you think it's a, one of those Chinese ones, that good for you. But why would I dump so much money into the pickups and all the crap if it was? I wouldn't. And it plays like a damn Gibson. It plays like crap. Actually, it plays really good. It sounds good. Uh, but, you know, still not a big Gibson fan. Didn't convert me. Still, my favorite Les Paul is that Epiphone. Uh, two Epiphones. The black one and the white one. Perfect. Superior over any Gibson I've played. And I played 59s. And the 59s are only a big deal now because of Slush. And Slush didn't even own it. He borrowed it from the studio. Okay, so anyways, getting back to me. <laughs> so it's going to be a documentary. That's that. No acting, no nothing. You'll have some video stuff put in there. I don't know if you've seen all the crap that I put out on YouTube, but... We'll use a lot of that probably, but I've found a few tapes that no one has seen. And some, one of them is a tour tape, so it shows some backstage stuff, some uh, hotel stuff. We gotta make sure, you know, we gotta make it so everybody can watch it. And uh, there you go. If you have any suggestions, feel free to say anything. Like, I think you suck. No. Like, uh, you know, you should do it like this, or maybe you should blah, blah, but it is going to be a documentary, the end. He's already got it pretty much in his head, what he wants, how he wants it to be. All I can do is input, like, what is it that you want to hear about me in this documentary? You just want to hear... I went, you know, took lessons from Randy, then I he took off, and then George Lynch came in, and I took one lesson or two or something, and then I split. And then when Craig Turner came in, I came back and take lessons. And the whole time I was, I was designing, well, this is part of the documentary, so I don't want to give too much away, but I had already had it in my head who I was going to be, like, Michael Skews is the good little kid raised in a, you know, good little church boy, you know, didn't cuss, didn't get in trouble, blah, blah, blah. And then I whoop and flipped and decided I was going to become Michael D, the crazy rocker, and hopefully make it. And, you know, and I. So, twice that happened, but at least with. You know, one of them we got more, you know, action out of it for like a couple of years, and then everything just fell out the bottom. But uh, there you go. That's that. I'm sure you really want to hear me play, but I'm not going to do that for you. So until next time, I guess that's it. Uh, comment, subscribe, uh, keep hydrated, and. Uh, yeah, I got it. That's right. Oh, YouTube. Yeah, YouTube is giving me a hard time about monetizing anything now. They're like, oh, yeah. So you have a thousand. So now they're email. They're ma messaging me a bunch of crap. Like now that I have that thousand subscriber thing done. Now they're worried. Now they're looking at every video. That's why I couldn't get those Randy Rhodes uh, demos up. 
they weren't they're looking at everything I put up now and they're gonna you know take you know well this can be monetized but this can't this can be but this can't and in this video you you know in the background we hear something so that's but I've seen them they've started running ads on some of my videos so I got to start getting paid for this YouTube sucks what is this other one? Get it or go to or got it or something? All of a sudden, this is coming out of nowhere. Everybody's on this other thing. I got to check it out. I don't know. But there you go. Until next time. <laughs>